The Keynote 21G was a cohort of a larger scale study looking at chemotherapy and other combinations with pembrolizumab and was initially a phase one study with a phase two expansion. The phase two portion was actually a randomized phase two that involved 123 patients, half of whom got pembrolizumab plus first line chemotherapy with carboplatin and pemetrexid for non-squamous cell lung cancer and half of whom got standard carboplatin and pemetrexid for non-squamous cell lung cancer. And that that study, which was presented um, now uh, last year, showed that there was a clear progression-free survival benefit in patients who got the triplet combination over standard chemotherapy, but there wasn't an overall survival benefit. We know that the majority of patients did cross over and got some type of immunotherapy as second-line therapy. There wasn't also a clear-cut benefit that was seen only in certain pdl one subsets, so there was a greater than overall Oh, there was an over 50% over response rate in the triplet combination as compared to 29% with chemotherapy alone. And that was true across the board, although there was an 80% response rate in the high PDL1 positives, those above 50% PDL1 expression, but it was a very small subgroup. There was actually even a lower than the chemo response rate in the 1 to 49%, but I think we all feel that those small subsets are not necessarily very meaningful. Um, but based on that data, the FDA approved uh, pembrolizumab with carboplatin pemetrexid for non-squamous cell lung cancer just a few weeks ago. Um, I think it came as a surprise to most in the field because it really was a small randomized phase two study and there is a larger phase three study that has actually been um, completed in terms of accrual. We are now waiting for the readout which may take another year um, but the accrual to that study is actually complete and I think that was the basis for the accelerated approval, approval that there will be phase three data coming out. Um, whether it's really going to change practice at this point is uncertain. I think it raises a lot of questions that are not answered, such as for patients with high, high pd one positivity, should they get pembrolizumab alone or should they get pembrolizumab plus chemotherapy? And I don't think we really know with that limited data set from Keynote 21G whether there's really any um, benefit to adding chemotherapy or not. I hope that with the larger data set we'll have some better sense of whether the response rates and overall um, progression-free survival is really different than with pembrolizumab alone.